Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's very nice to see so many of my friends out here tonight. <sighs> Thank you to the American Institute for Stuttering and that they are honoring uh, me with this award. It means much more to me than you can know. It was my uh, good fortune to be invited to this event three years ago but my, uh, by my um, wonderful friend, Emily Blunt. Emily asked me to present the same award to my good pal Samuel Jackson. Of course, I was happy to accept, but at that time, I wasn't aware of the wonderful progress therapy offered at AIS. After, after listening to all the speakers that night, especially the young AIS clients, I was blown away by the phenomenal work carried out each day by the clinicians. I'll be right back. By the end of the awards program, I was committed to their mission. And that's why this award is even more special to me. I was a stutterer for many years. And when I heard um, that I was going to be honored here tonight, I realized that uh, I didn't quite accurately know when I actually started stuttering. So I wanted to know when I started. Uh, and when I started, and I wanted to be able to share that with you tonight. I began asking my family. I asked my mother. She didn't quite know. Uh, I asked my cousins, uh, friends of mine from school, but no one could actually put a date on it, but we all came to the conclusion that it was in 1961, which would have made me six years old. No plan, no help just flailing wildly uh, for a really long time. But, and by no, uh, no plan of my own, a sort of miracle happened to me. I, I had done a little bit of acting in school and at the YMCA, and when I realized that when I was on stage, my stutter disappeared. Of course, I, I couldn't be on stage my whole life, and my stutter continued until I was in, um, uh, school at Montclair State College and they had a terrific speech therapy department where two of the professors uh, of, of the department helped me lose a great deal of my stuttering then. Um, I thought another miracle had happened. Everyone in this room has either stuttered or knows someone who has dealt with it. Uh, and. The hardest thing that I remember was being a kid stutter. And my advice to the young people in this room to never let anyone make you feel like an outcast. Because you will never be an outcast. A very wise woman named Eleanor Roosevelt once said that no one can ever make you feel bad about yourself without your permission. This program, this program and the people who work here at the Institute can help you. It's easy to get frustrated with a child who stutters, but believe me, the one who stutters is, is much more frustrated. And to all the parents of stutters, I would follow what Aaron Graff said and share with us tonight because he was spot on with his words of wisdom. Be patient. Always listen. Offer encouragement. Give positive reinforcement. Always. Everyone at AIS has been terrific and made me feel part of this community. And I always hope to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Yay.